I bought the cheapest electric dirt bike on offer up. <laughs> and it's a mess. In this series, we are gonna restore it to as close to original as possible. So let's get started. Obsession. Brought to you by Waffle Square. So if you're new here, my name's Mike, and this YouTube channel is my Waffle Square, where I obsess about things and you get to benefit from it. And this used to be the Segway X160 all electric dirt bike, the smaller of the two versions offered by Segway. And this one comes with a 17 pound, 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. Now by comparison, your average electric cordless tool has a battery of 18 to 21 volts, around two to five amp hours. So a substantial sized battery. The total weight of the bike with the battery installed is a little over 105 pounds and it has a maximum passenger payload of 176 pounds. So me being 186 pounds without even a helmet and boots on and well over the maximum passenger payload. So if we were to keep it once I restore it, it would have to go to my wife or one of my two daughters. Now on the front and rear, it comes with 17 inch wheels, which are pretty small by most electric dirt bike riders preferences. And if you go on Segway's website, this bike retails for a shocking $4,500 brand new and is always out of stock. So it seems to me that Suron, the company that actually made these bikes for Segway, probably isn't making them for them any longer. So let's go left to right, front to back over everything that's missing or broken on this bike. Starting with the plastics. The front fender is gone. The rear fender is gone. The tail fender right here on the seat is gone. The plastic chain cover is gone. The front wheel axle is gone. And it's been replaced by a long bolt and a bunch of washers. If you look here on the front wheel hub, you'll see that the disc for the brake system is gone. And there's a bunch of wear around where it should be. So I'm hoping that uh, the new disc and the replacement screws will be able to find purchase inside those threads. These forks are in pretty bad shape because there's so much overspray paint all over the areas where they're supposed to uh, go up and down. And they don't appear to be the original forks from the pictures I've seen. So I'll be curious to see if I can get um, seals and things to service these forks and where I'm gonna find the instructions to do so. Now let's move up here to the handlebars where a lot of abuse and neglect has taken place. First, both brake levers are broken and the wiring is hanging out of the rear brake lever. This switch you see right here is to select for eco or sport mode. And the little monitor that shows you your speed has broken off. Someone tried to re-glue it. And if you look down here at the horn button, you'll see that the glue ran down and has completely fused the housing with the horn button. So that whole assembly needs to be replaced. The grips are all torn up. The throttle seems like it works, but I don't trust the wiring on it. If you look at this picture here of the gooseneck, it's a Newton. I don't know if that's original or if that's aftermarket. If you know more about these bikes than I do, leave a comment down below. And then look at this. This is supposed to be the keyed ignition, but instead that's gone and it's been replaced with a little switch that is sitting in a nylon clothing patch and like glued on with what looks to be JB Weld or some other black blob of glue. Then we come down to the battery cover. Half of it is broken off and completely missing. There should also be a key lock that matches the ignition to hold the cover down in place. That's gone as well as all of the brackets and assembly for that uh, keyed battery cover lock. The bike does have one proper foot peg. The other one broke off and there seems to be 
a small little BMX or freestyle bike peg that has been stuck in its place. The kickstand is completely gone. In fact, the only thing remaining is this torn off wire that's just hanging down at the bottom of the frame. The entire front brake assembly is gone and the cable for it is just wrapped up on the forks. The rear brakes do not function at all. Now check out this picture here. This is actually one of the photos in the offer up listing of the bike in pieces. And when I reached out to the guy and in the listing, he said the front forks were messed up, but the bike worked. But when I got there, he could not make this bike function at all. In fact, he was so frustrated and so disillusioned with it because it had been stolen and somebody did this awful flicker job of paint on it to try to mask it as uh, their bike and not his, that he just wanted to get rid of this eyesore and headache uh, and he couldn't even get it running for me. So uh, I took it off of his hands for $200. Now it's not all bad news. This bike came with the original battery and the original Segway charger, which if you know anything about electric bikes, the proper charger is the best way to keep your house from burning down. It also has the motor installed. It has the bottom skid plate. All of the frame looks to be intact, not bent or cracked. The chain and belt drive all look serviceable. The belt has a little bit of tearing on one side, so I'm not sure if that hub that holds it has been dented or something, but we'll find that out when we do a teardown. But the best news of all is, after a little bit of work here, which I think was fully uh, opening up and jiggling the wire for the rear brake assembly, I got the bike to actually function. And I was able to connect with the Segway app to the controller. So it seems to me that there's a lot of wiring issues that were keeping the bike from running properly, but that the controller itself is hopefully fully functional. So what's the plan for this series? We need to completely tear down this bike. I want to strip all of this disgusting flicker paint off of everything that's possible get everything sand and prepped and repainted. I also want to replace the wiring harness, the throttle, the brake assemblies, the axle. I need to do a complete service on the front forks. Uh, the seller said that they weren't functioning at all, but in reality, he just had the compression turned all the way to the point where it wouldn't collapse. So I think if we just service the seals, we might have more luck than he did. Then I've been sourcing all new plastic. So far, I have the battery cover and the assembly that goes with it. I found the new ignition with key. Uh, I have the tail fender, the rear fender. These front shocks do not appear to be original, so I'm going to have to strip some of this paint off and see if I can find a manufacturer or find a bracket or something to get a front fender onto these forks. And once we put it all back together, we're going to take it for a ride and then figure out what its future is going to be. Here we go. So in episode two, we are going to completely strip down this motorcycle down to bare frame, bare handlebars and bare forks. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, please subscribe to the channel so you get notified when episode two, as well as all the other episodes for this build series come out. Also, please leave a thumbs up. It's really helpful to the channel. Until next time, thank you for watching.